welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me at Maria Loves to Talk. And what am I talking about, you guys and girls? I am talking about perfume. I'm talking about some great fragrances I picked up and some new ones. And I just have a lot of stuff to talk about. Hey, I need you to click like and subscribe. Go in the kitchen, get you some healthy snacks. I don't know, maybe some of that leftover barbecue from July the 4th, that brisket and ribs, maybe some boudin, some watermelon, cantaloupes, I don't know, turkey sandwich. Get you something, sit back, and let's get started with this video. Okay, starting with my first video, I have a, I just, you know how I do, I like to mix and match. So I'm starting with some Swiss Arabian. Okay, so we're starting with my Swiss Arabian. What this was, this was a kit, um, a discovery kit. It was like about 40 fragrances, part one and part two. And so I'm just splitting them up. So I'm gonna start with my very first one and it's called Persia. And yes, I have some little trial samples. So Persia is a citrus peach jasmine uh, floral. And of course, you know, I've already smelled them. I had to, let's see. This one smells good. And I love Swiss Arabian. If you have not tried them, and no, I'm not that little spokesperson, spokesmodel, you do need to try them, get you some Swiss. Uh, most likely, I would try the Discovery set before you uh, commit to a big bottle. Moving on to my next one, it's called Mystique. It's fruity, sweet, raspberry, and gardenia. Let's see here, I can get this. I'm loving this one. Fresh, romantic, a little sexy, and I love, 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 love Gordina. Moving on to my next one, it's called Mademoiselle, okay. Citrus, Rose, and Tonka, let's see. It's light, it's not heavy. I don't know, Mademoiselle, well, I don't know if they were, Alchemy. This one is floral, uh, rose, plum, and anise, and I love anise. I even use it like a, um, burn it and use it as an incense in the house. So let's see what this smells like. Yes. And I bet it's the anise. I'm loving it. This one is a yes, and it is a five. Moving on to my next Swiss Arabian, a whiff of five. And this one is aldehyde, uh, jasmine, lemon, rose, and civet. That little animal. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right. So let's see. I'm liking, I'm liking this one too. Okay, that's a yes. I said I wasn't going to buy any, any more perfume. I couldn't control myself. <laughs> Went to Ross in, in uh, Burlington last week and bought some things and, and might go back out later on this afternoon. I have three more videos to do today, so hey. Okay, moving on to my last one, which is from Swiss Arabia, Anatalia. This one is powdery, floral, and violet, and watermelon. Wow, I'm talking about watermelon. I, we bought a watermelon, it was so big. I had to split up and give it to a family member. It was just too much. This one is good. And it has like a little aquatic going on. This is a yes, and it is a summertime. I would definitely say you can get away with this for summer. This is called Anatalia, A-N-A-T-A-L-Y-A. -A -A. Set from uh, Tiger Lily, or now it's called Ministry of Scent. And it was three of these little, uh, travel size. This one is called Lenevia, L-N-L-V-N-E-A, Spirit Water, Odo, Odo Fluoride. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, this one is a citrus aromatic lavender. I almost sprayed it. I'm so used to just spraying on my skin and it has cloves in it. Okay. One of my niece's birthday is this week. This is, yes, this, it smells like you out on the ocean, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe at the, uh, and I've never been, I will go to uh, Bethlehem, to the Holy City. This is a, it's 
smells good. Yes. Getting back to my niece. I call her just now to see what she wanted. If she wanted me to give her some money. Because that's all I do is, is. No, I'm not rich. I prefer to give money or give cards at Bath and Body or something, or something like that. And she's like, oh, no. I just want to be able to come in your house and pick whatever fragrance I want. That's that's all I want. I'm like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, okay, moving on. The next one by Linvid, Lanivia. Uh, oh, again, Spirit Water. Oh, do Diable. D-I-A-B-L-E. I know y'all going to get me, you guys. White Floral Amber. Uh, orange Blossom Leather and Sandalwood. I know y'all going to get me. Yes. I know. <laughs> okay. I'm liking this one too. Refreshing, crisp. This is an office. This is this is good. This is yummy. I'm liking this one so far. Um, I want to say Holy Spirit. They call it Spirit Water. I'm thinking also of the water, the holy water you get at the Catholic Church. Okay, so moving on to my next one. This is called O D La Ren, Arini, R E I N E, again by Liv Nia, L V N E, L V N E A, aromatic, fresh, spicy, rosemary, and thyme. Making me think about cornbread dressing. It's almost that time again in the next five months, five, six more months. This is very aromatic. So if you into that kind of, and it is semi-heavy, this is for you. And I would give it a four and a half. Okay, moving on to my next one. This one is by Sarah Jessica Parker. It's called Lovely. I don't remember where I picked this one up. Uh, it's woody, musky, lavender, martini, aromatic, and patchouli. Okay, so let's see. And I did try this on when I first bought it like four or five months ago and I have not went back to it. And not because it's not good, it's because I've been so busy with other things. This one is light. It's okay, it's a good daytime fragrance. Uh, it doesn't uh, have enough oomph for me, but it's okay. I would give it from a one to five. I would give it a three. I know a lot of people when I went on um, her site, everybody is raving about Stash. S-T-A-S-H is one of her top, top fragrances. Okay, so moving on to my next one here. Uh, I picked up, let's see, my next one is Versace Woman, the Versace family, okay? and pick this one up tj maxx okay looks like this beautiful bottle i don't even remember okay fruity rose jasmine sweet raspberry plum and musk and it gets me in the vibe almost like the magnetism escala i'm thinking Purple rain. Okay, so let's see. Yes, and it is saying, I am woman and I love being woman. This to me, I'm not getting the, the strong enough vibe to say it, it could be date night, at least not for me. This would be more like an office fragrance. And it's not that heavy as I would have expected with all that purple. I would give it a, a four. My niece was begging me for this uh, a couple months ago. You guys, I am so glad I did not get her Versace blue, blue jeans. And when I do my relationship videos, I will talk about it in detail. But yeah, she wanted it for her little boyfriend. And also I had picked up the red the, the red jeans as well. What happened to the red jeans? Oh, I am returning it. Long story about that. Because she swear that her boyfriend loves this one and he needed 
another one so she wanted to give it to him she wanted me to give it to her so she can give it to him for his birthday so let's see this smells this smells so good this i i thought it i thought it was a woman's fragrance i'm thinking still a woman can get away with this one this is blue jeans by versace it's blue jeans man and it is a yes it is a five and a half it's a five and a half you guys she wanted uh this this is it says regular 36 dollars i got it at tj maxx for 19.99 put it over here that's a five and a half get it for your man okay moving on to my next um gold rush i picked both of these up at the same time gold rush and rose rush paris hilton at burlington at last weekend uh 12.99 i got a whole bunch of other stuff dog pads dog food i've been going back and forth to walmart and the things that my dog liked the things that we want for her i couldn't find it i guess it's still a shortage on a lot of things okay so let's get on okay so our gold rush is sweet vanilla nectarine violet uh praline talking about praline i should have asked them my niece and some of her friends went to the essence festival uh last weekend and they stopped i want to say was it jennings or lake charles and uh, got some boudin from this place called don's um and some cracklins and i tell you I should have had them give me some pralines, but boy, that boo damn was so good. Okay, let's see what uh, Miss Paris Hilton, and congratulations to Paris on her marriage. Okay, let's see. This is good. Fresh, feminine, and you can't get away with this date night. This can be a date night, and I love this bottle. This is it's pretty. Okay, moving on to the next one, Rose Rush. Looks like this. And I guess she's got a different outfit for each one of them because in this one, it's a pretty uh, rose, light pink uh, outfit. Okay, so this one here, of course, it's Rose Tropical Fresh Peony Papaya. And this one has a, a glittery, the bottom is a glittery pink. Okay, let's see. Beautiful bottle. I'm liking this one too. I, I prefer the gold, the, the pink, the rose. It's not a heavy rose, it's light. But uh, you can get away with this for office. This will be a good office, probably take you through a, a light meeting, uh, office meeting. Uh, it's not Met Gala, anything like that. Moving on to the next one. And this is the one, uh, check out my video I did about the Housewives of Beverly Hills. So this is another one. This is Platinum Rush, beautiful box. She looks really lovely uh, in this uh, picture, okay? Here's the uh, bottle, beautiful bottle, very glamorous. Uh, so getting back to my the video I did for the Beverly Hills Housewives, her mom said that this was her favorite, the Platinum Rush was her favorite. Okay, so let's see uh, what this one. elegant date night sophisticated and i see why her mama like it but you know, again remember these people are rich they can buy anything they want i had did a i don't know if i put it on my video picture of her mom's dresser uh, with all those expensive um 
Coco Chanel perfumes. And this is a five. This is a five. This will be a four, four minus, and this will be a four and a half. This will be a three and a half. This will be a four, and this is definitely a five. Okay, moving on to my next one. I should have brought my little box. Okay, so my next one here that I'm, I'm going to go to, I'm trying to keep them in order. So my next one here will be Dolly, Dolly Parton. <laughs> okay, and this one, I've already tried it. I tried it, you guys, I already tried it. It is good. She did a good job. I don't know. I'm assuming since Donnie, Do, Do, why am I calling her Donnie? I'm thinking of the other country western singer. Donnie, I'm so, since she is a creative artist, she's been out there a long time. She knows what's good. She she knows her stuff. Uh, she's a smart woman. I'm pretty sure she actually did design this fragrance. I would give it a five and a half. Um, this is office. It can get you through date night. It's not a heavy date. It will be more like going out with your husband to just a simple uh, restaurant, no biggie or movie movie night. Um, I know, I think QVC had this and you can also get it on her website. I picked it up at Ross and I forgot how much I picked it up for, but I made a killing. I didn't pay that much as I thought I would have. Okay, so moving on to my next one is Beyonce. Beyonce Heat. Okay. Ah, remember I told y'all when I did the Kim Kardashian video that I knew that that honey bottle remind me of something. Okay, so this one is sweet magnolia peach honey soft on the roly. And it, the bottle look, I'm not saying that Kim copied after Beyonce, but it looks like the exact same bottle. And it's hard to, to grab. <laughs> it smells good. I haven't smelled this one in a while, in a couple of months since when I purchased it. Yes, you guys. And I already said the ones that I don't, I know I'm keeping this one for sure. My next one is Beyonce Rise. I love this bottle. It kind of reminds me of Paris Hilton um, uh, Rush, Platinum Rush bottle. Look how beautiful. This is a, it almost looks like Empire State Building. Okay, so this one is um, Woody Musk Floral Apricot Basil Orchid. Some people said it reminds them of Michael Kors Sexy Amber and YSL Manifesto, which I have both of them, and I will be doing a Michael Kors video coming up. So let me see. elegant sophisticated and i have money <laughs> that's what it smells like <laughs> put it right there okay moving on to my next one okay um beyonce heat okay okay beyonce's heat Okay, this one here looks like the same, the other bottle as well. So this one uh, is fruity, sweet, tropical, blood orange, mango, hibiscus, and amber. Two. I don't know which perfume my niece wants. Um, hopefully, when she comes, she just choose one but knowing her she's gonna want two two bottles and maybe about two or three candles and i told her i haven't been a bath and body in a while i haven't this smells 
vacation, vacation, vacation. Cruise, Hawaii, Jamaica, uh, the islands, uh, Greek islands. It is a five. Both of these uh, are five. Both. Okay, moving on. Mixed bar. I had to get it. This one's called Tangerine. Tangerine Squeeze. I think Miss Mix Bar, I believe it's in Target. Okay. Looks like this. Just a pretty simple bottle. Citrus and of course tangerine. Uh, the the beauty to me of doing uh, these videos, especially um, when um, like in my case, you you buy your own products, which I wouldn't mind having some free products because as I stated before, these things can get expensive. Which my the lady at the Sephora did tell me where I, I would get my. A little free sample. I don't know if they let us people get free samples anymore at Sephora, but the beauty of it is that you can say what you feel or how you feel and not be um, lasso in. Uh, the tangerine is not strong enough like I would have wanted it to be, so I will give it a three and a half. Okay. Moving on to my next one. Let me put a little Miss Paris Hilton over here. Put Miss Paris right here. Okay. Okay, so moving on to my next one. Escada Magnetism. But to me, they all do not smell alike. But they are, most of them, they are sweet. Yum, yum. This is, yes, it is sweet, but it's not that sweet. This can take you from office to date night. It is vacation. To me, it is sophisticated. It is romantic. This is definitely a five and a half. Uh, this is magnetism. Moving on to my next one. Escada Aqua Del Sol. Escada Aqua Del Sol. A pear, sorbet, and citrus. I'm trying to think, where did I get this one from? I, I believe I picked this one up at Zoo Lily, which I haven't been shopping there in a while. Um, and magnetism, also Zoo Lily. I picked. I, that's. I believe that's where I picked it up. Uh, I did purchase a lot of um, indie. Um, silver jewelry from Sue Lily a few months ago, so but that's a good place to go to get your fragrances. Yummy. I'm not going to give it a five. I will give it a four and a half. Magnetism is a five. This one is, will be a four and a half. Okay, so moving on to my next one. And I have, let's see. This one is Floor Del Sol. This one is aromatic, and it also has grenadine in it, which I love grenadine, because I'm gonna get in there and make me some lemonade in a little bit, and put some grenadine in it. Oh gosh. This one. This one's a 10. <laughs> It is so yummy. This one, Flor Del Sol, this is a 10. It's up there, you guys. Vacation, vacation, vacation. Okay, uh, Escada Marine Grove. I'm trying to think where, I don't remember where I picked this one. I'm gonna just smell it. I don't have that much of it left, let's see. This one smells good. I'm not going to rave over it, <laughs> but 
but I would give this one, and this is Marine Grove because I was looking for more of a beach ocean scent and it doesn't have that, at least not for me. So I will give it a three or three and a half. This is Marine Grove. Getting to our end, Rihanna, congrats to her. Congrats, this lady is killing it. Rihanna, she's killing it, you guys. Killing it with her fragrances. Congrats to her new baby, beautiful baby. Congrats to, I uh, know she, uh, she will, I, I guess I'm just going to put it out there. She will marry uh, ASAP or ASAP or hey, whatever his name is. He is nice looking. He's a nice looking dude. Did I want her to be with that billionaire, the Arab billionaire? I really kind of thought at first they, they would have gotten married. I was kind of shocked that they didn't because it was really weird. I don't know if anybody remember when she said, the moment she said that she loved him and that she was ready to have a family, boom, they break up. But hey, this lady uh, is still winning. She's a billionaire self-made billionaire she didn't get it from her mama didn't get it from her daddy she did not um uh walk over people or what you what they call it uh she did it on her own merit talent and smarts okay so let's get on with her fragrance sweet fruity vanilla caramel pottery coconut orchid <laughs> And no, they're not paying me to say all that that stuff. I, it, it just came to my mind. They're, they're not paying me. But hey, if they want to, you know, pay me. <laughs> or, I don't know, give me some, some fancy products. I will accept it. And the bottle is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Golly. And I had some more fragrance. I think one of my little nieces took the other bottles I had. I'm liking this one. Uh, this would definitely be office. I wouldn't call it, even though it says Rogue Love. I'm not getting a, a, a heavy romance vibe. I'm getting more of an office, everyday type of vibe. Just keeping it real, you guys. Moving on to the next one, Riri. And I had uh, The Crush. And I think she has one called Kiss. I don't have that one. Or maybe that's the one one of my nieces took. Okay, so this one is Fruity, Vanilla Sweet, uh, Jasmine, uh, Musk. Let's see. Looks like this. It looked like the same bottle as the other one, as the Crush. They both had it look exactly alike. Okay, so let's see what the juice. Okay, and I'm talking about Riri. I saw where somebody was saying, I don't know, these little, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't be a celebrity because these uh, magazines, they just gossip and talk about the people. It looks like they look for bad things more than they look for good things, but they were saying something about she gained weight. I'm thinking, duh, the woman just had a baby. You know, she didn't gain weight, she looked good. This one smells, this fragrance, reread this one is yum yum. But getting back to that, stop trying to push these women to, to feel that they have to lose a whole bunch of weight after they just had a, a child that's that's ridiculous she looks really good again it has to be you know some haters rebel floor love always and this is what it looks like a cute little black bottle remember the nude was in a tan bottle and the other rebel floor I had was like in the red and there's another one. I forgot what the other one is. The, the main one is all in red. So let's see what this one smells like. Love always. It's good. It's a yes. And I would give love always rebel floor I would give this one a four. I would I would give it a four for sure. A four, a four and a half. So again, I need you to leave me your comments. Stay safe, healthy, and blessed. Thank you for joining me 
And Maria loves to talk. Thank you.